Our mission is to extend philosophy beyond just our department. At the beginning of this year, we started developing the ideas of uh, what we wanted to do in the community, how we wanted to be connected, and, and extend beyond just the philosophy department. We realized that it, there's a real opportunity for us to engage philosophy with the real world in a way that allows people a chance to interact with us and us to interact with them, and for philosophy ideas to be incorporated into a wider subset of fields and disciplines. First, I'd like to briefly summarize why we're here. Uh, following a general desire among philosophy students to engage in disciplinary studies, philosophy... This is a direct um, manifestation of that desire that we had to, to engage more in interdisciplinary topics and conversations. So this event is called Real Talk Roundtable. Well, we're here at Free Cycles in Missoula, Montana. And yeah, th this is our interdisciplinary event. Students from all disciplines are invited, but we specifically form formulate these around interactions with one other department at a time. Tonight, we will be discussing issues in conservation and restoration. Three words, reintroductions, rewilding, and restoration. What they all have in common is the prefix Re. Uh, so we think going back, but going back is not really possible in the Anthropocene. So when we're talking about restoration ecology and what's natural and what's wild and what's ideal, what are we looking at? Are we looking at what was invasive 500 years ago or what was native today? It's a, it's a question. So just join a table where there are chairs and I'll grab some more. In my perspective, history. what's driven away is the profit part. I was away from profit. Well, that's a lot bigger question. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. That's, whoever thought everything is natural, where does that leave us with restoration? If everything's natural. That was me, because uh, I was having trouble with the issue of natural. And I think a lot of times this isn't like a classroom setting. This is more like, what do you think? I think it kind of lets us stretch more boundaries of like what's important to that conversation than what we, than for instance, if we had like a reading we we're all supposed to reference. I think it's really useful to hear what other people think. And I think it's really interesting. I had fun. It's like tonight in particular, we talked about restoration ecology, which is not something that everyone is going to think about all the time, but when you get down to it, everyone has an opinion of. Um, and that was really clear tonight. Uh, it's so refreshing to talk about this stuff with scientists, with other people that are just, you know, walking around having a relationship with the environment and thinking about these things. And to be able to be in an environment that fosters some of those and um, shares those, especially interdisciplinarily, is, is awesome. The whole point of philosophy is, I think, to think about things in a deeper way to come to a better solution in the end. So by taking this into the real world and talking about, you know, specific pragmatic concepts, but then going back to the philosophical underpinnings of those, that's where we can really get the benefit of philosophy and start to see why it's worthwhile to think about things in an abstract way. We can, we can get in touch about what topics you might be interested in people get exposed to a lot of things that they might not have considered. Uh, maybe they can come and get some, you know, gain some of the tools. Maybe we can contribute to their, to their mode of thinking about these particular topics and, and expand their horizons. And they can bring value to us. It's, it's great to have people of all uh, backgrounds and types to, to explore these ideas because it's all of us. 